hi welcome to my channel guys uh welcome my name is christina thank you guys for watching sharing liking and subscribing i hope everyone is well um you guys should be getting ready for the holiday and you should have a great holiday you should have a great life a great day a great everything you should i'm wishing you all of that so what i wanted to talk to you guys about is um a lot of stuff oh my god so much stuff to talk about and of course you know they want my channel off of youtube because i am uncompromised i i, I give you the real deal so you know like every other ascended master that has been let's say hunted and killed because if you know your star history um you know that um every all of the great ones all of the great leaders all of the ascended masters They've all been compromised. They were all hunted, tracked down, killed, and did not really get to finish their um their mission. And there's so much and there's so much hypocrisy around everything. And so anytime that you are a being of light, and it's you have to be aware, guys. You guys have got to be aware. Okay, if you are a light worker, if you're a star seed, if you're an indigo, if you're an angelic population, if you are someone that has a good pure heart, good intentions. You have to be very aware, okay, of this cosmic field. You have to be very aware of who runs it, how it's ran, what is going on um, in the field. You have to be extremely aware. Some of us are grid workers. Some of us do planetary grid work. Some of us are very ancient, okay? Some of us are very ancient. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm actually glad that I said that word ancient because it just triggered what I wanted to talk about. So what I want to talk about is if you don't know what a star seed is, and if you don't know that you're a star seed, you are a star seed. Okay? What is a star seed? A star seed is someone, is us, that have lived many, 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 many years ago. Okay? Many eons ago. Many, 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 many years ago. And what happened is... A lot of planets exploded, a lot of star systems exploded, a lot has happened, a lot of war, okay? Anything, any type of war, for example, World War II, any type of war that we have now is a precursor or a predece predecessor of a war that existed during star intelligence, star people existence. And so that's why your awakening is so um, resisted by these forces is because they want to keep the quantum field and keep the awareness of what happened during um, star seed seedings and during star life and star civilizations that you don't understand what is happening. Everything that we see right now is a reflection of everything that happened years ago during star civilization. That is what it means to be a star seed. What it means to be a star seed is to know that you are a crystalline being. Um, your skeletons are not skeletons. They are crystals. Okay, you are made of crystals. And what happens is your crystal family, okay, your crystal family, your crystalline beings, your crystal family, okay, had wars many, many, many years ago. And their bodies are crystals. Okay, their bodies are crystals. Information ye years ago, information um got destroyed and disseminated into crystals. And so these things and these items and these grills and these gruels and all of this information about your history is buried in the in various parts of the planet on various grids, in various timelines, and so they use those crystals or they attempt to steal those crystals they attempt to get to them before you awaken to them okay because if you know that you are a crystal child or you're a crystal star seed or you're made of crystals and you're made of rainbows and you're made you're made of crystals you're a crystal we are crystalline being nobody tells us these things then they won't get they won't get it okay they won't they won't get it. They won't be able to use it. They won't be able to use that. And you know what they do when they get it? They recreate that disaster that happened with your ancestors and your starseed family and your crystal family and your aunt and your ancient, ancient, ancient leaders some years and years and years ago. They use that to create the same catastrophe that happened to them, to you and I and all of us. 
if we don't know and if we don't awaken. So the reason why it is just so important to do your research and to do your history and to know who you are and to understand what happened to your ancestors because most of us are living curses from our ancestors and um, we don't know why it's happening. Why is uh, why is this happening into my family? Why is this happening in society? Why do we keep having wars? I have personally made it my mission, okay, to really, 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 and forgive the room, okay? My room is, I've, I've been so, like, these messages have been so severe in all of the knowledge that I'm getting and it's everything that is happening. I'm just, like, going through a whole bunch of galactic war right now. Um, and so just for, I've just been having to just really, you know, manage my energy wisely and clean keeping the room clean is not a part of it at the moment getting these downloads and getting the accurate information is actually more important to me because it's it's very important in the quantum field because not a lot of people are talking about telling you that you're a crystal child you have a crystal family you are ancient and so what happens is back to the story i just wanted to excuse my room so what happens is when these crystals are stolen again okay they can create the same catastrophe. They can create the same, um, the same suffering, the same war. Okay, so that is why I have made it my mission to stand against war of any kind. Okay, I'm just not supporting war at any kind. I am so dedicated, and I hope that you join me in being very dedicated to peace and power. Okay, just because you're peaceful doesn't mean that you're not powerful. Okay, people have that so misconstrued. But just because you are, um, just because you're a peaceful person does not mean that you're powerful. And yes, we do have ancestors in other dimensions and we have ancestors in other realms and we do. And the world is much bigger than it seems. And this is why they try to keep the mind, your mind locked, you distracted. Problems keep having, you keep having problems. They're targeting you. Um, they're just targeting you. They don't want you to access this information. They want to create the same thing in your in your legacy they don't want anybody in your family to wake up they want to keep that lineage you know some of us are so um ancient and some of us are so beautiful and some of us are very connected to the egyptian line um and lately i have been very connected to the egyptian line i mean it's like i'm walking i'm not sometimes i'm walking sometimes i'm driving <laughs> and i'm seeing africa i'm literally like seeing safaris and i'm literally seeing the and I've never been. I haven't been yet, but I know that I'll be going soon because it's very uh, the um, the Egyptian lineage that I'm a part of has definitely been awakening. And um, when you're ready, it'll happen. It won't happen until you're ready because to connect with your ancestors means that you're going to go through the government. And what? Why? Why is the government important? Because the government controls climate. And we are crystal beings, crystal children, crystal cosmic beings, solar beings. We're very, um, we're very arrow. Okay. We're very arrowy. Um, and if you know anything about the arrow space in the world, it's heavily regulated. Okay. So for you to be a star seed and for you to travel, um, if you to be traveling by locating transmorph um, transmorphing and, and doing your time travel and stuff like that you're going to cross astronauts you're going to cross um, space programs you're going to cross NASA you're going to cross all of this stuff all I to say all of this shit because I have okay I have definitely crossed all of these different things and it's just things that you have to be aware of it's just um a part of the process it is a part of the process you know um so yeah so you know if you the reason why you're going to deal with the government is because the government heavily regulates the solar system the cosmic field the sun it's heavily regulated energy is very heavy he, very heavily regulated and we are actually made of all of the elements in the air and actually all of the elements in the air have been quarantined have been um under control by the government and, and and you know and let's just i talk about this all the time but if you if you understand that 
when you work in the government and you're like a soldier or anything like that, you have the power to really, or you don't have the power. They have the power to give you extra dimensional powers. Okay. Extra dimensional powers. So I'm eternal. They become immortal. Okay. They have those type of powers, you know, you just have to be aware of these things. So yeah, so you have soldiers and you have people out there that are able to transform themselves and camouflage themselves into anything. They can camouflage themselves into beings of light because they have that type of power because they have those type of technology. Um, and it, it, this is a very technological world. Energy is very technology, uh, very technologically um, manipulated. So you just have to be very careful about everything. So that being said, if you want to wake in, you just have to be aware of the government um, and the shadow government on one end of the same. Okay, I've just come to realize, and I've it, it just because I've been dealing with it for so much, not even so long. I haven't been dealing with it for so long, but um. It's just destined that I wake up, okay? It's just, it was destined. I can tell you things that happened to me as a child, okay? I have had ET encounters as a child. So I know that I am, um, I know that I'm a crystal child. I know that I'm an indigo child. They know you are too because honestly, they see your rays before you can. They see your colors. They know your DNA. They Your DNA is so powerful, okay? So many, many times your DNA has been locked up in cage somewhere and you have you don't even access it because we're, we don't really even use DNA. We don't even really need it because um, we don't even know what DNA is. You know, most of us don't even eat properly anyway to really activate our DNA. We haven't really, we haven't really, you know, done the work to really know what that is. A lot of these people out here that are telling you that they can do this and they can do that, they cannot do anything. Okay, they cannot do anything. More than likely, they're selling your soul to these ETs because these ETs have technology too. They can tra they can make anything seem like anything. <laughs> they can assimilate anything and i'm i'm just going to say jesus christ because or whoever you know they can assimilate that because that is an assimilation okay that is an assimilation okay and i used to be on that assimilation too but yes that mish that whole crucifixion cross nonsense is definitely an assimilation so if you can understand that religion is assimilation can you understand that they can assimilate star seeds identities so you have to really, you have to really go through a lot of training. You have to go through a lot of awakening. You have to go, you travel back and forth. Like I'm traveling back and forth while I'm talking to you now. I'm trans, I'm, I'm in trans time. I'm in trans dimensional, multidimensional. I'm traveling right now. There's information coming from me from different eons because I'm still awakening because I'm still learning. And I'm, I'm even realizing how the quantum field is so, um, the quantum field is so bombarded with, ships and bases and all kinds of stuff that don't want you to activate these crystals because when you activate these rainbow crystals you shine and you bring the light in and you and you transfer it you activate it in others and they don't want that because they want to keep you on artificial energy on artificial program you see when you become a star seed you're not on any artificial programming you're not on any artificial energy you're not a robot anymore okay when you are become a star seed and you activate your rainbow dna you activate your rainbows and you activate your i love the rainbow i love working with the rainbow i know that i'm a rainbow child because i love the damn rainbow i love the damn rainbow when i when i do when I do colors and hues and frequencies and stuff like that first thing that comes to my mind is rainbow 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 i always ask I always ask for rainbow. So, um, I know that I'm rainbow. I know that. I'm, and I, and if you see, when I go out, look at my nails, I have black and pink nails. I am definitely a rainbow. Child. I, there's no doubt in my mind. I do not like to match for anything, even though I have a very corporate job. Um, I do not. And I do have to wear corporate attire. I do not like, I'm just very colorful. I've always been that way, very colorful, full of colors, full of life. So, um, you can see my damn blanket. I'm very drawn to colors, I'm very drawn to colors. So these little things will help you to know who you are. And like I said, um, why they don't want you also to be, um, to awaken is because when you awaken, you will no longer be an artificial robot. 
Until you awaken, you're a damn robot. Until you awaken, you're not accessing your heart. You're not accessing your feelings. You're not really connected to source, honestly. Until you're not really connected to divine. You're not really created to. You're not connected to anything but these damn religious controllers. So um, that being said, that's the message I have for you guys. You know, you guys um, do your research. You know, um, be very careful. Uh, pay attention to what goes on in your family, especially of origin, you know, though that could give you clues a lot, especially if you're seeing a lot of alcoholics, a lot of alcoholics, you know, I don't eat the same anymore. I don't even crave the same shit anymore. I don't, I'm on like a whole different trajectory, you know, um, and, you know, my family was so offended by my eating behavior chain. I, yeah, I, I eat completely freaking different. I am a completely different person. I, um, yeah, I'm just completely different and I don't eat the same. I'm very aware of food. I'm just very aware of everything. So, um, just be very aware of patterns in your family. It will unlock everything. It will unlock every single thing. Like, let me give you an example. I have about, my family's very musical. I am very musical too. I always talk about me being very into hip hop and very into rap. I always talk about that. My family there's a lot of musicians. We're very, they're very musical, and I love music too. But I don't listen to music in that way anymore. I like make my own tones and my own rhymes and my own rhythms now. Um, but before that, before my awakening, I used to be heavily into music, and before that, I have about four family members who are men who are DJs that all died horrific deaths. All of them, all young as well. So you have to be aware of these patterns. It could be more than four, actually. It could be more than four DJs. DJs are a very big thing in my family. Like I said, they are very musical. Um, but they all died for, I believe it's four. It could be more or it could be less. But I definitely know at least four died and they were all DJs. So you have to be very, not good deaths, not fulfilled lives, very sad, very tragic. You pay attention to things that happen. You will see, you will see what is going on. Okay. It, it you will, you will definitely see what is happening, what they are trying to do. What is it? What is the target in your family? Um, uh, why they're targeting your family. And I honestly believe that a lot of the people that have died were star seeds and did have, um, they were star seed and they did have a lot of crystals and they did have a lot to offer they just didn't know and so now these are crystals that have been stolen for use to be manipulated to continue the same nonsense so this is the message i do have for you guys so just be aware if you have any questions comments or concerns please do like share and subscribe and you can always email me and thank you guys for watching do keep my channel growing um and i will do my best to continue to keep the information very authentic you know, very authentic, full of light, full of love. And, and that is the message I have for you. Um, thank you guys for watching.